Here's my key, philosophy. A freak like me just needs infinity. Hello, I'm Martin Bull. Hi, I'm Ola Sobos. We are students from the Budapest University of Technology and Economics and participating in the Digital Design Contest 2013 organized by the Digital Incorporation. Our consultant is Peter Stumpf from the Department of Automation and Applied Informatics. And we are here to proudly present you our homemade rolling robot Art on the Two Art on the Two Wheels. Art of the Two is a two-wheel drawing robot. The basis of its operation is that the motors give their torque through a V-bed drive to the wheels while the counter torque lifts up the hanging weight. The device is equipped with a drawing unit that consists of a table marker, a marker side, a small blow, a curved rod and a servo motor on the top of the box. It operates the way that the motor's translational motion is converted to a linear motion by the rod and the flow that pulls up and puts down the marker. The remote control of R2D2 is implemented via Wi-Fi connection between a laptop and the device. The user can command it by a Java user interface to go forward or backwards, to turn left and right, and to move its marker. Furthermore, using telemetry, the device sends back its coordinates to the laptop. From the received data, the Java program plots the route of the device and also the drone curves. This way we can follow its movement without seeing it. To keep the expenses of the construction as low as possible, we put a lot of reused components into our device. Starting with the motors, they are all single motors from two approximately 20 year old hard drives that were found in the cellar. The metal custom made shafts and holders are also from different kinds of racks around the house. They were only adjusted and elaborated in a way to be in conformity with our needs. The battery cells powering the machine are from an old laptop battery and they still can provide more than 12 volts. This voltage is just enough to power both the motors and the microcontroller boards. The V belt pulleys were challenging to create. The fan belts used are belts for ordinary sewing machines. The green box in which the battery module and the motor driving circuits are placed as well as the flexi on top is also custom made. We also designed and created a circuit that is able to drive the spindle motors according to the given control signals by the cellar. The circuit has another functionality that is to receive and translate the signals provided by the whole sensors inside the motors. This signal is further used to determine the, the rotation state of the motors. In addition to the previously mentioned items, the board MX3CK with the PMOD Wi-Fi and the GWS servo kit received for the competition from Digital also takes place on the device. It can be found on the top under the transparent plastic cover. The servo motor controls the marker position and the marker is attached to it with a self-designed rod and claw. Considering all our expenses and the value of the received items from Digital Incorporation, we can estimate the total budget of the project to 150 US dollars. But I think R2D2's most important field of application is probably the entertainment electronics. Controlling R2 can be great fun for children and their parents too as it has an outstanding advantage comparing to other remote control devices that it allows the user to utilize his creativity by drawing. RC devices have been basically produced for boys and men so far. 
R2D2 is supposed to bring this tendency and be a game for both gender based on the fact that drawing has always been interesting for girls and women. Thank you for your attention.